but you're a Bible believer. You believe adultery is wrong. You're setting up your own set of rules in a country. Are you going to make adultery against the law? If not, how do you justify that? When the Bible is so clear about not only the dangers of adultery, but that God made it a law. It's not good enough anymore. You say, okay, yeah, yeah, of course we're going to be against the law because, I mean, that's really wicked and really bad for someone to commit adultery against their spouse when you made a vow till death do us part and you're only going to keep each other. Yeah, of course, that's wrong. Okay, then how are you going to punish it? What are you going to do when someone breaks that law? What good is a law if you have no punishment at all? Well, they'll go to jail. Where do you get that from? Where does God mention jail as being a punishment for anything? You're going to prison, son. Why would adultery today no longer be worthy in God's eyes of a person being put to death when it was then? What has changed in God's view towards this sin or any of the sins that we're going to go over? What, what's changed? Now, adultery is something that is, would be considered moral, right? Would fall under the umbrella of just, this is just wrong. It's morally wrong. And it's always been wrong and it'll always be wrong. This doesn't change with any times. And like I said, we're going to get into the changes because there were changes made to the law, but you know what? The changes don't apply to the moral laws. There's some things that are just right and wrong and always have been and always will be because it doesn't, they don't fall any, under any other set of rules like the sacrifices do. Let's keep reading here. Verse number 11. And the man that lieth with his father's wife hath uncovered his father's nakedness. Both of them shall be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Right? And it continues and goes on and on with the death penalty here. Verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Okay, hold on there. No way. Can't go there. Why not? Talk my stories, let's reason together. I get slammed in the media and, you know, I, I bet there's people that would probably come to our church that don't because they see the news clip of, oh man, Pastor Burson, they put him in a dark light and they, they get this clip that just sounds so crazy and extreme. He believes, can you believe this? That he believes that, that you know, homosexuals should be put to death and executed. Yeah, oh man, what a hate preacher and everything else. We were doing just fine. No one had a problem. But we just kept reading our Bible. Why is this so different? Why should this be any different than anything else that we've been reading so far? Is sodomy still wrong? Yeah. yeah. Doesn't the Bible talk about that even in the New Testament? Being wicked and sin, it's abomination. And, we, you know, again, the Bible is pretty consistent, actually 100% consistent Amen. from front to back right. on God's view on this subject. Yeah. It doesn't change. So I'm going to have a country and I'm going to make up the laws. We're going to make sodomy against the law? You're a Bible believer. I would hope so. What's the penalty for that? Maybe we should check with God. Because maybe, maybe your perception of sin isn't God's perception of sin. Maybe what you think isn't that big of a deal? God thinks it's a huge deal. Right. And maybe you have gotten brainwashed along the way and you've been desensitized and you've allowed yourself to accept filth and wickedness and garbage and to start thinking that this really isn't a big deal. Maybe you're the problem. Maybe it's not the Bible. Maybe it's not God. God doesn't change. 
God, the Bible says that God, I'm the Lord. I change not. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. It doesn't change. You know what changes? Society changes. You know how they change? For the worse. Cultures always go downhill. It's a law of entropy. Things are always falling into disorder and chaos and, and getting worse and worse. And morality is no different in human societies and cultures. They may start off good where God will bless somebody and bless a nation because they're doing the right things and they have good laws and they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. But in the end, it ultimately always will end up decaying and, and getting more and more wicked. But the truth doesn't change. Morality doesn't change. 